guys, it's Clancy, and I don't know why, but it feels like I haven't filmed a video in 500 years. I don't know, like, have I? I don't know. It really just feels like I have been, I don't want to say slacking, because we're not going to say slacking, because I work so much, and the fact that I even come home and fill these is kind of psychotic, but I love it, and I love you guys, so, um, yeah. <laughs> but no, it definitely feels like I haven't really been filming that much, but, um, that's why I'm picking up the camera now and saying, hey, hi, what's up? And I thought it would be cool to do a video kind of about my wardrobe and what I wear as a reporter, because I get so many questions about that. One of, alright, so I guess we can start out, one of them is people uh, ask if I have, <laughs> this is like laughable, if I have... <laughs> I'm sorry. If I have a hair and makeup team, who does my hair and makeup for me every morning? No, not at all. That is not a thing, really. Um, unless you're, like, the anchor in a top market. And, like, there's a difference between anchor and reporter. Anchor, you sit at the desk and, like, you really, you know. Those people are the ones who, like, really, like, have to look nice. Um, I'm a reporter. I'm out in the field. Honestly, what I look like kind of is at the back burner of things. Yes, I try to look nice, but it just doesn't I don't, always end up happening uh, a lot of the time. No, I do my own hair, I do my own makeup. Um, when I say I do my own hair, <laughs> give or take, I really <laughs> don't um, put a lot of effort into it. I just don't feel like it. Like I just, yeah. Yeah, that is one question I get a lot. Um, and then I also get a lot of questions about wardrobe what I wear, what I'm allowed to wear, what I'm told to wear, all of that good stuff. And I thought it'd be awesome if I kind of gave you guys a little tour of my closet. When I say tour of my closet, this is the part where most YouTubers would take you into a room that is the size of um, your house and show you their amazing closet. And this, it, whenever this happens, like I, I see YouTubers closet tours and I'm like, what? okay, my closet is truly a closet. All right, first I'm going to ask some frequently asked questions about the closet though. Alright, so the very first question people ask is if I can pick my own clothing, like if I'm allowed to um, wear whatever I want. And okay, so obviously, I mean, the answer is within reason. I mean, at any job, it's like, come on, can I show up in like a onesie? No. But no one um, like tells me like, you have to wear this or you can't wear that. However, being on TV, there are some like hard and fast rules that most people know like, hey, this is gen generally going to look good. Hey, this is generally going to look bad. It is very ironic that I'm wearing what I'm wearing right now because it's actually, I didn't realize this until this moment. This is super ironic. Um, you're actually not really supposed to wear patterns on TV. When I say not really supposed to wear them, it's, you can wear them. Look at me. This dress I got from Macy's. It is um, Ralph Lauren. Um, fun fact, I've tried to become a pro shopper. You're probably thinking, Ralph Lauren, like, wow, she really splurged. And I will splurge every once in a while on clothing, don't get me wrong. Um, but typically I am just a sales girl. I go to the sales rack and I find, like, this one I think I got for $30. Like, it, yeah, it's crazy. The sales that you can find, especially at Macy's, and it is, like, my, like, it's, like, a hobby of mine, finding a good sale. Although I kind of hate shopping. It's weird. Like, I'm... Most girls are like, oh my god, shopping! For me, I'm like, shopping. Like, this is so annoying. But yeah, wait, so going back, um, the reason patterns aren't really advised is just because it looks a little bit crazy on TV sometimes to the eye. The patterns kind of, um, I don't know, it can get a little crazy. It's really solid, bright colors are just, that's like a news person's wardrobe. Um, like bright pinks, bright blues, bright yellows, that type of thing. Actually, everyone hates on yellow. I love wearing yellow. Don't own enough of it, though. But, um, but yeah, no, so bright colors that are solid are recommended. And you will see when I take you into my wardrobe in a second, most of my clothing, it, it does fall into that category. Sometimes, though, you know, you gotta be a rule breaker. You gotta wear that black. You gotta wear that floral. Where is my favorite place to shop? Where do I like to shop? A lot of people ask for work uh, clothes. I, Macy's is just my ride or die. Like, I'm obsessed with Macy's. You can, it, first of all, it, it, there's just, it's so much. Like, if you're in the mood to splurge a little something, something, you can definitely find that expensive piece. I don't think anyone is in the mood to, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think anyone wants to. But, you know, it's a variety for sure. Because then also, you hit up that sales rack, and there usually is a lot of stuff on the sale rack. And you can find quite a few really cute items. Hence, you know, what I'm wearing. At least I think it's cute. Um, and my favorite brands, I can name two. My two favorite, Ralph Lauren. Their dresses just, I just love the way they fit. 
and then Calvin Klein. And fun fact, I actually get a petite. I feel like work clothes for women are just really long and I'm not even that short. I'm five foot five. Everyone always hates on me for being short at work. I, it's like a thing. I'm not short. I'm five foot five and maybe five foot four and three quarters, but it rounds up. No, but I'm really pretty sure five foot five. It's not really that short, but I like to wear a petite just because I promise this is an appropriate length. I can step all the way back to show you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to go really far back. Look at this. This is a petite. Wait, actually, wait. Never mind. I'm pretty sure this one might be a normal size, but I could definitely go for a petite on this if I wanted to. Like, a petite would come up to here, and that's fine. So, yeah, I like to go for a petite. Uh, but you know what? Without further ado, I'm going to show you my closet. So, the way my room is, I have two closets. Uh, there's a closet here and then a closet there. So, let us... First, I'll show you my main closet. So, you open it up. And you will see, I'm a very organized, like, person. I just love organization. Uh, so this is the overview of the first closet. And this is where I keep all of my work clothes. So everything you're looking at, this is just all that I own for work. Which, when you think about it, considering, you know, I have to be on air, like, what, 300 days a year? A lot of days of the year, this is not a lot of clothing. Um, of course, I wear things more than once. So over here, this is where I keep all of my um, sleeveless tops, you know? This one is so cute, but it's see-through, so I'm, like, really upset. I'm too scared to wear it. Ugh, the struggle. Uh, anyway, so these are all my sleeveless. Then here's where I keep my, uh, sleeved blouses. Here is where I keep all of my skirts. I love a nice bright skirt so much. And then pants, which I realized I focus less on buying any of these because half the time you can't even see it. Half the time I'm being filmed from my waist up anyway. And then this is just, this is my favorite section. These are all of my dresses. And oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with dresses. Like, oh, like this one, good old Calvin Klein. Like, I love it. Um, so as you can see, I do go off you know, the beaten path. I do get prints and floral, but then again you see a lot of Solid colors, solid, solid. This one really goes off the beaten path. Like, this is not advised, but I love it. Love it, love it. Calvin Klein, once again. These are all my dresses, dresses, and then bent down here, we just have some blazers. I love the color of this one, but fun fact, it looks terrible. If we go up here, we have my shoes. These are obviously all work, but then when we get over here, this is, I don't even know what I was thinking when I packed these, like, clubbing, what? <laughs> Yeah, um, and then this is just, this is my dirty clothing, and I love these slippers. All right, then, I'll close this. If we go into closet number two, this has a variety of my everyday clothing that I will wear, and then also all of my coats and sweaters. So I just have like a jean jacket, trench coats. This is my station uh, rain jacket. This is my station winter jacket that I will wear in the frigid, Frigid temperatures, I am so scared. Um, and then just normal shoes, kind of. And yeah, so that's really everything uh, for my wardrobe. Of course, in the winter time, especially when I'm outside all the time, really all, the, all you'll see is my coat. So that's depressing. I'm gonna, I, I need to make sure. I'm, I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna buy another coat because I've just been, I've been wearing like literally the same red trench coat since I arrived. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to buy a new coat because. <laughs> Why not? Um, but I consider buying clothes and stuff an investment. You have to look presentable. I mean, I know a lot of times, like, yes, by the time I get on air, my hair might be crazy and my makeup, like, I don't really check it, but to have, like, just a nice, solid foundation, at least have, like, a nice outfit on that's clean and, you know, looks nice, um, I think that's important, obviously. And as for my makeup, you don't want to know something? So, I discovered, I think one of the biggest game changers is winged liner. Like, if I had the time for fake eyelashes, that would be the biggest game changer. Fake eyelashes just make you look like a princess, honestly, but I don't have time for that. It's not that important because it's just not. But winged eyeliner to me, like, I, I just, I guess I've been doing it so long that it's kind of just like every morning I'm like, let's just go for it. It's like a swoop, swoop. I, I actually like genuinely notice a huge difference when I'm not wearing winged eyeliner. Um, so yeah, that's like a tip. I don't know. I personally think, like, I like, I just... Not to be like weird looking at myself right now, but like I really do like the way winged eyeliner looks. I feel like it like lifts everything up. Um, and you know what? Who wouldn't want things lifted up? Um, but yeah, I just thought that'd be cool to kind of show you guys who, what I wear. I get a lot of requests. I know a lot of you are going into the workforce. Even if you're not on air, you still want to look presentable and nice every day. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's hard. I mean, I can tell you my, my regular clothing has taken a hit. Like every weekend trying to figure out what to wear. Just, you know, going about on my Saturday and Sundays. Fridays, um, 
it's a challenge because I literally feel like I own nothing. Like, look at this. This is this is literally all I own to wear. Like, just living my life. Like, that's not that's not that much. Ready? Wait, these are my jackets. Okay, it starts here. That's it's hard. It's a struggle. But you know what? I make it work. Um, growing up, I was actually I'm, I've actually always been like a very frugal person. I never really like ever had like designer things or and I was also very um. My family's very, what's the word, like not like showy. We never had like showy cars or like the latest handbags. You know what I mean? Like we were very, um, we didn't really care about that. Um, so I'm just naturally, like I've naturally never ever been into any of that. Like you could have a Prada bag or a bag from Payless. Like to me, it doesn't matter. Like they both look the same. I just, I don't find the value in that type of stuff. Like for me, like, like yeah, right now I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren dress that I got for $30. But like... To me, it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren dress. It's really just, hey, like, I think this fits good and I like the way it looks, you know? Um, I've never been like, I, so what I'm trying to say is like, I've just never been into like designer names. Like that, the name carries no weight to me. It's just if it looks good or not. Um, that's how I've always been. I better go because I actually have kind of a lot of work to do still and I have to plug in my phone. Um, okay, yeah. I'm now I'm just talking to myself. So I'm gonna go, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.